this practice is about equanimity. It's one of my favorite words, that ability to be okay in any situation, to stick with our breath, um, to remain calm. And I think that stability and simplicity and showing up and cultivating strength and harmony, um, working on our own transformation, they're all the building blocks for equanimity. So you'll want to have a block, maybe a blanket. I don't think we'll need a strap, but have it handy just in case. Sit up tall, root your pelvis, feel the support of the ground underneath you. Close your eyes if you're comfortable. Start to simply inhale and exhale through your nose for a few rounds. So when we suspend the breath on the exhale, we're activating the parasympathetic side of the central nervous system, that rest and digest. So I'm gonna invite you to suspend the breath, just hold it for a couple of counts at the bottom of your exhale. Just keep breathing on your own time, your inhale and your exhale. At the bottom of the exhale, just hold for a count or two. One more round. And then gently float your eyes open if they were closed. On an inhale, take your arms across your body like you're going to give yourself a hug. On your next inhale, open them wide, palms facing up. Then on your next inhale, take them up over your head, interlace your fingers if you can, and then turn your palms facing out and draw your upper arms way back. Move your head around so you know you're not building any tension in the neck. And exhale and gently release. And then inhale, get tall, twist to one side. Want to raise your gaze or drop your chin. One more deep inhale and exhale here, legs heavy. And come on back to neutral. Inhale, get tall, and exhale, go to the other side. Lean your head in any way that feels right. And then gently release. Maybe rock from side to side a little bit. So today, just fall to the side without using your arms first. So like you're squished between two pieces of glass. And maybe you wanna hold the opposite leg and inhale the arm overhead. Changing it up a little bit. Come on back up. Open both arms out to the sides. The one thing we can count on in this world, for sure, is change, right? So we'll go to the other side. Root your hips. And maybe turn a little deeper. And inhale, take your arms out to the side again, palms facing up, chest open wide. And then we're going to move into our cat-cow. So those fingers spread wide if you're on your hands or feet on your elbows. So today, let's exhale first, hollowing out. Push the tops of the feet into the mat. Inhaling, gently arch. We're involving the whole body, from the crown of the head down through the tips of the toes. Exhaling out. And inhaling. Gently arch and exhale out. Inhaling, 
bunch of them. Arch. Let's do one more. Exhaling out. And inhale. Gently arch. And then take your knees a little bit wider apart, big toes together, and find a child's pose. So maybe gently rocking. You want to walk your hands forward to make this very active, so you're stretching the side body. Find a way to be completely supported. So finish and exhale. And then on your inhale, pull your low belly in and come to standing on your knees. You can get your knees right back under your hips. All right, so if it bothers your knees, you could put a wrinkle in your mat for a little extra padding. All right, or you could get your blanket. Not to be on too long, but we are gonna stand up for a moment a couple of times because we're gonna do many sun salutations. Exhaling your hands to your heart. I love these. Inhaling, they're a great way to move your spine, get your body going. Exhale, you're gonna walk your hands forward into a modified plank. One long line from the knees out from the crown of the head. Squeeze your elbows in and exhale, chug rubble down to the chest. Then firm up your legs, right? Strong legs make good back bends. Drop your elbows, draw the back of the neck up like a swan. Maybe just gazing forward. And then exhale, forehead to the mat. And you're gonna reverse your push up, squeeze the elbows in, hips up first. And then exhale back to child's pose. Pull your low belly in, inhale, arms up overhead. Soften the knees, exhale, use your hands to support you walking forward into modified plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Use those legs, inhale, gentle cobra. Exhale, forehead to the mat. Squeeze those elbows in, hips up first. Exhaling back to child's pose. One more time, inhale, arms up. Softening, exhale, walk the arms forward. Shoulders over the wrists, exhale, chaturanga down. Push those feet into the mat, inhale, cobra. Exhale, forehead to the mat. Reverse your diet. All right, and come on back to child's pose. And then inhale, find your plank. We're gonna come through downward facing dog, all right? So just simply lift your hips up and back if you can. Walk your dog a little bit. And look at your thumbs, soften your knees, and walk your feet in to meet your hands. Inhaling, half forward fold. Exhaling, hang. And then roll up one vertebra at a time if you can. Maybe give the shoulders a shake. Arms go up overhead. And exhale your hands to your heart. So we are going to uh, do some one-legged balance, a little motion. In with it, so on an inhale, lift your right knee. Make yourself like a lowercase h. So use your, just do your gaze on one thing. On an exhale, you're gonna cross the ankle over the standing thigh and sit down for a standing pigeon. You might feel a little stretch as you fold forward in that hip. And then inhaling, come on back up. See if you can keep your knee up. And then we're gonna exhale back into high lunge. So inhale deeply here. And then exhale, sweep your arms up as you safely bring your leg back. And then you're gonna sweep your arms down like you're pushing through water and inhale back up to that lowercase h. Inhale, use your core muscles, lift your knee. And exhale, back to Tadasana, good work. Building our ability to be calm wherever we are. Inhale, lift your knee. Use your drishti, 
Cross the ankle over the thigh and sit down into your standing pigeon. And come on back up, lowercase h. And then we're going to sweep ourselves back and do high lunge. Make sure you get there safely, use the wall or a chair. And then push down like through water to bring your knee back up to lowercase h. And find Tadasana. Good work. Okay, so here we go with two of our sun salutations. Right. Building blocks for equanimity. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Inhale deeply and exhale into simplicity. Inhale gratitude. Soften your knees. Exhale, fold forward humility. Fingers on your knees. Inhale in commitment. Exhale. Right leg back in high lunge. Ready for anything. Inhale at the top of the push up plank, knees or toes. Do the work. Exhale down, chaturanga. When you get there, let something go. A gentle cobra inhale. Remember to look up. And exhaling right back to downward facing dog. Fill that space. And right leg comes forward. High lunge, knee or the ankle, ready. And then hanging in a forward fold, perhaps humbled by our practice. Fingers under the knees, inhale, half forward fold, stay steady. Exhale, soften so that you can reverse your dive. Arms up in the air to begin again. Exhale, simplicity. Inhale, gratitude. Exhale, hate humility. Inhale, commitment. Half forward fold. Exhale, left leg goes way back in high lunge. Be ready. Inhale, top of the push up plank. Do the work. Exhale, chaturanga down. Let something go. Push your feet in and that as you inhale. Cobra, look up. And right it away. Exhale to downward facing dog. Then inhale your left foot forward. Be ready to return. Exhale, humble. Inhale, half forward fold. Stay steady. Exhale, soften so that you can reverse your dive. Inhale, ready to begin again. And we will finish with tree pose, right? The ultimate pose for equanimity. So shift your weight into one leg, find the calf, or maybe put the foot on the inner thigh. Again, using our drishti, our gaze and your breath. Cool, let's practice. And exhaling, gently release. And we'll go to the other side. and stability and strength, harmony and transformation, create less anxiety, less worry, less busyness, making space for other things, exhaling gently release. 
And we safely bring ourselves down to the mat. Inhaling, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Take one leg way back in high lunge. Work the back knee down. Come to all fours. Shift to one hip. Pull your low belly in. Maybe make this a core exercise if you could use your hands for support. We'll reach your arms forward to the count of five. We'll roll down to the mat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let everything go. So maybe tuck your shoulder blades together. Check in with your body and see if there's any other motions you'd like to do before Shavasana. I'm going to draw my knees in my, in my chest. Just rock a little bit. You could try happy baby. Cross your legs and get a little hip stretch. Maybe just a couple more breaths. And when you're ready, settle in for the most important pose of all. Every day is different. Shavasana is always changing. But if your mind starts to wander, just bring it back to your breath. I'll let you know it's time to move again. Take a deep inhale and maybe exhale, sighing out through the mouth. Two more times. And then make some motions to get yourself moving again. Eventually, pushing yourself up to seated, perhaps keeping your eyes closed. When we practice our yoga, the one thing we can count on is change. It's true off the mat too. But when we face both our practice and our lives with equanimity, there is more space for hope. So inhale deeply. Exhale, bow your head to your heart for showing up. Give yourself that mental pat on the back. And then go out with equanimity and hope and be your best for others. The spirit of me, I'm your spirit in each of you. Namaste.